Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 14 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering. How's everybody doing today? I'm working on some stuff, getting a few things here and there. A few things I want to work on today. Um, I think we're getting pretty close to the point where we're going to need some ender pearls for a few things. Um, and I'd really love to get some automation around the collection of ender pearls. Uh, so with that in mind, I'd like to set up a spawner. Um, so to get a powered spawner, there's a handful of things we're gonna need to do. And you know what else I wanna get? I wanna get an experience obelisk too. I wouldn't mind getting one of these to store my experience. Cause if I start dying and I lose 60 levels of experience, I'm gonna be pretty sad. Uh, so yeah, that would be cool. So I just need some solarium and some energetic alloy, which is easy enough, right? Redstone, glowstone, gold. We got tons of that. We're good there. Uh, solarium, not a problem. Soul stone, blah, blah, blah. but this guy a little bit harder, right? Um, so we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna like a lot of these. Uh, I, I, I feel like we're gonna want like a lot of bronze. I feel like like having a large amount of bronze right now would probably be good. So. Um, Three, 33 and 11, does that sound cool? And I'm assuming this is 10, right? I'm gonna have to get more copper and 10 at some point. Um, but, you know, the three to one ratio here, this should bronze up real nice. Um, there's like a handful of things I wanna work on today. Um, some of them more, you know, focused than others. The other thing I wanna get is a specific block called an extraction chamber. For this, I'm gonna need a power cube. I'm also gonna need some of those weakened diamonds and reinforced stone, which I should not have a problem with. Like that should already be done now. Boom and boom, nice. And you can tap into my MV wire relay and MV coils. I presume I don't have any left. And might as well get all four. Cool. Uh, you can chill here for the time being. Neat, extraction chamber. And uh, we'll put our MV wire relay on that dude. And, oh, that's the relay. Yeah, I don't want the relay. I want the connector. So I'm gonna need more clay, aren't I? More than likely, yes. MV wire connector needs iron and copper and Restonia crystals. Let's get four of those. Every time I go mining, I'm at like the deep Y levels and that doesn't seem to work out so well for me. Typically because what happens is, um, there we go. Uh, I wind up not getting much copper and tin because that tends to be higher up in the Y level range. So I'm definitely gonna have to like do something about that. Cool, extraction chamber. Good to go, nice, you've got power. Um, circuits are a thing in uh, the calculator mod. And they, they, there's there's lots of things that you can make circuits to do. Like I, there's, there's a large number of circuits. What all they do, I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I know that they're used for a lot of things. Like if I want to get, for example, a basic circuit board, I'm going to need this circuit uh, and this circuit and this circuit. And basically all circuits, from what I can tell just by looking at JEI recipes. Um, and again, I, I probably should have done more research on this mod, but yeah, I'm learning. Um, you can either get this version of the circuit, which is like the clean and functional circuit, um, from a damaged circuit or a dirty circuit. And damaged circuits come from processing any form of cobblestone at a 12.5% chance. Uh, and dirty circuits come from processing dirt at a 12.5% chance. So basically you process a bunch of dirt and cobblestone and eventually you find some circuits and then you have to clean them up. Um, so uh, it, if you want to um, clean up dirty circuits, you need a restoration chamber. And if you want to clean up damaged circuits, you need a reassembly chamber. So we're probably going to want a reassembly chamber pretty soon. Um, but first, let's get like a stack of cobble and throw it in there and see what happens. So this should start processing slowly but surely producing circuits. Wow. The word slowly does not, you know, even come close 
So I'm guessing we can put speed upgrades in there at the cost of energy. But this thing's already using 50 RF a tick, and it's going to take 1,000 ticks to run this. So 1,000 ticks divided by 20 is uh, 50 seconds, right? 50 seconds per operation. So roughly... Um, you know, one minute per operation here. And we only have a 12% chance. So I guess let this sit and run for a little while. That's neat little animation going on in there. That's cool. And we'll, we'll, we'll either get nothing or we'll get a circuit. And that would be cool. Yeah, we got nothing that time, except for the small stone. So that's fine. We will let that cook. Um, so I just kind of kicked that off with the intention of letting that run. Uh, let's get some gears, can we? That would be cool. Let's get some gears here. Um, and I'm going to want to go ahead and get some machines. So long story short, we're going to want, in order to get the mob spawner, which my kind of goal right now, two things I'm going to need, right? Number one, I'm going to need to spawn Enderman, but number two, I'm going to need way more power production than I currently have. So I think I'm going to work towards getting the Enderman spawner first and then come back and work on power production, which will probably be a lot of canola-based power. Um, so we'll probably want to automate that in some cool way. That would be neat. Um, so that's something we'll want to think about. But yeah, long story short, this is what we want to make. So vibrant crystals um, for the powered spawner, that's going to need emeralds and ender pearls, And we haven't gotten really emeralds yet. Um, I haven't found them. Flawless calculator can make emeralds out of diamonds, but I don't have access to the flawless calculator yet, right? Um, which is a bummer. Can I make a flawless calculator? Flawless assembly, atomic assembly. Looks like some pretty complicated stuff that I, oh, I need, uh, iridium. So that's probably not going to happen just yet. <laughs> All right, cool. I mean, I could look into that, but yeah, no. So that should have been my gears. So getting emeralds might be a thing. We might want to go look for villagers and like trade with them to get emeralds. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll just have to go looking around. I wonder if there's any kind of good movement boosts that I could get. For sure I could get some dark steel. And that would be cool because I can get like dark armor. And if I empower these things, like you can get some pretty good movement capabilities. So I think I want to get towards the dark armor level as well. Um, jetpacks, from what I've read um, in the guidebook here, pretty much everything jetpack related, um, conductive iron jetpacks, require uh, that, 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 electric jetpack, requires a jetpack, requires elytra. So you need an elytra for pretty much any operation that you want to do. So lots of things we're going to need to work on, um, I guess. But other than that, in order to get a spawner, uh, we're totally going to need a Z-Logic controller, which means we're going to need a slice and splice. Um, so let's get some machine chassis. What do you say? So let's get some bronze item casings and some bronze plates. So it is two bronze per sturdy casing um, in here, right? So if I want put those in that would be cool and then we're also going to need eight bronze for the plate so I'm actually gonna need more bronze than I have I need eight sixteen twenty four thirty two so I need twelve more we'll see how this goes that'll be eight right so I need one more set of bronze here. And technically, I guess this could have all straight up been inside the smelter, because at the end of the day, we have to mix the bronze, right? So it could either be mixed in the smelter or in the alloy smeltery. So lots of machines that I want to make today. But dark steel should definitely be on my list. And I'm hoping that the dark steel recipe isn't too bad. Nope, just obsidian, crushed coal, and iron ingots. So that's not a problem. Um, that should actually be straightforward. Do I want to get a sag mill? I'm not sure. I may want a sag mill because I could start processing my ores a little bit better if I got a sag mill. That might be a cool thing to consider. So bronze should be quick to smelt up. 
And uh, I'm gonna get these bronze plates and we'll be right back once I've got this all taken care of. So totally killing my power right now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie about it. Yeah, it's uh, there's a little bit of suffering happening. I'm not sure where it's actually, I guess it's, I destroyed the power here, obviously. I guess other point, oh, this is running, isn't it? Yeah, I was making seed oil. That's totally a thing. Yeah, I'm hurting my power for sure. I should probably pause this. No, not the algorithm separator, this guy. That should allow power to resume. I'm guessing you're hurting my power gen a little bit. And you guys might be refilling your internal bits a little bit. Slowly but surely. We've totally hit the point where power is gonna hit a problem for us. I might wanna get into coal gen or, 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 or seed oil gem sooner than later, believe it or not. Um, let's augment this. This is the first time I've actually had to throw coal into the coal generator, believe it or not. So that should help out a little bit. You guys are refilling your internal buffers. That's definitely what's happening right now. Yeah, that's what it is. Cool. All right. Um, so I'm, but I did just make, you know, three sturdy casings out of the four that I wanted to make. And each of them are 2 million RF each. And this guy only holds 4 million. So yeah, obviously that's a thing. Uh, what I've been doing for seed oil, by the way, you can use the, the, the seeds here, or you can just grab like a stack of this and they convert directly into canola seeds and boom. And remember you get 10 millibuckets per seed. So cool stuff. All right, so I got a bunch of seed oil now. I'm going to pull this into here and push it right into here. Does that sound cool? So first things I want to make is the experience obelisk. Like that to me seems like kind of a no-brainer. Sounds like there's a witch outside. You should push pull into that guy, right? All right, so just push. Cool. We'll let that thing fill up and just have a, you know, reserve of it. Cool. All right. A few more things to make. Um, I'm going to need more bronze. I really might need to go mining pretty soon, actually. So let me, again, off camera, I'm going to create the stuff that I need for this experience obelisk, the machine chassis. So the iron casing, not a big deal, except for the advanced machine casing, which not the end of the world, right? Advanced alloys, mixed metal ingots, that stuff is gonna just be a little bit expensive-ish, but I can manage. Um, you are cool. So I'm just gonna get six of you. I'm gonna start rolling these out and uh, get the other stuff we need. So we'll be back in a minute. You know, as much as I don't wanna spend the steel for this, I kind of feel like it might be a good idea to make a metal plate press. I think it's going to be faster. I'm just curious. Like, see that operation time? Pretty slow, right? The nice thing about, and I'm going to get four more of these steel. If I came over here. And pop these dudes in. It's a little bit faster, I think. Definitely seems faster to me. And you guys are killing my RF at the moment, but you know, either way is an option, obviously. But this seems quicker. Um, and these steel plates are ore dictionary, so they should work, you know, one way or another. It's kind of cool, actually. I like it. Definitely quicker, right? Feels quicker. Nice. All right. So, making things and stuff. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna need to compress, I'll just make you know a bunch of these for a second. Each should be fine. Just wanted to note that I might be using this. I, this seems faster to me. And what's nice is it's automatable, so I can just kind of drop multiple sets of items in here and it'll stamp them all out. So that should be cool. Yeah, that definitely seems like it was faster. I should actually like time it to see if it's really faster, because I'm not sure, but it feels faster, so I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna make a pair of advanced machine casings, right? Um, advanced machine, check, what are you missing now? Oh no, you're not missing anything, good. You just needed different steel plates. Good, 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 good. 
All right, cool. I'm gonna put you guys away for a moment. That's all good. Cool. So that's part two of this, remember? All right, so we've got you, we've got you. Let's get our basic capacitors, which just needs empowered Restonia crystals and rich gold and copper electron tubes. Might have a couple of these and rich gold. I'll take care of the rest of this off camera again. So I knew things were gonna get expensive really fast and boy, are they. <laughs> oh, so um, if I want to make two basic capacitors, I need basically eight empowered Restonia crystal. And if I'm making eight, I might as well go for broke and make the ninth, which means make a block at a time instead of a single one. Um, and to do that, I'm going to need four million RF. <sighs> so right now I've got not even close to that. So maybe holding off on this little project for the time being. <laughs> Uh, it might be time to start working on, uh, you guessed it. Let's just put all this stuff away. I'm going to start feeding you more coal, but let's get working on the canola presses. So canola, uh, press doesn't look all that bad. That looks pretty easy. Let's, let's do that. Let's make two of them. And let's get our gold. I don't think I've got, I do have some gold cables here. That's actually exactly enough. That's exactly what I need, but that's cool. But I'm gonna um, extrude out a little bit more gold. Let's go drop this on this guy. Cool. And then we can craft up our canola press and we can start working on canola generators at least. So that'll help. So you, you, and then the only other thing we need is two Inyori crystals, which should be easy. Two of you while I'm at it. Cool. And that's canola pressing. Nice. Um, in addition to this, I'm going to need, so canola oil. I assume that you can come out of a canola press, but so then there's oil, which is made in the fermenting barrel. That's right. And I forget which one of these is faster. I feel like the fermenting barrel is slower than the, and we need wood casing for this, which isn't too bad. That's good. All right, so fermenting barrels don't look too bad either. And then we're gonna need oil generators, which I believe this is where it gets a little bit trickier. We need iron casings, of course. Um, and we need uh, empowered canola seeds, which is not bad to make. So we could totally make this now. So I'll do two fermenting barrels now because I'm getting low on wood. Uh, I should get a farm set up for wood. Wouldn't that be a cool idea? Then we could get charcoal as another source of power. Might be might be smart. Might be cool to think about doing that. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, plenty of options at that point. Um, so we got two fermenting barrels. We got two canola presses. I want to say it's like one canola press to three fermenting barrels in terms of speed, but we'll see. Um, so let's start off by grabbing... We've got our MV coil and connectors here. Let's start off. If I'm not mistaken, the canola press will automatically output to the fermenting barrels. Is that true-ish? What I'm gonna do, can I put this back here? Good, you're not getting a redstone signal. It's annoying to go back there to turn it off, but for now it's just gonna be a temporary. This is all kind of temporary because I'm probably gonna wind up um, and this is the only thing that needs power, if I'm not mistaken. So you need juice, which you're going to get, and then you don't need juice. Cool. Um, hmm. You know what I want better? This. And then I can get a tank that's going to be set to pull and pull. Cool. So that should be cool. So then into here, we can throw canola which I should have just gotten a bunch of nice a stack so then that'll turn into oil canola oil which will ferment slowly but surely into straight up oil oil nice it's actually working in pretty well cool 
All right, so I already got what I need by way of advanced generators, right? Or advanced machine casings. So I'm gonna steal from the future and use these advanced machine casings instead of for what I was gonna use them for um, and grab ADU, which I'm getting low on as well. I have a lot of stuff uncrafted at the moment. Oil generator. Cool, so I need iron casings times two. Wow, two iron casings for an oil generator, harsh. Um, and then we're gonna want five of these. We're gonna wanna put one here for that. You, one, two, these should not be expensive power-wise because I don't think he changed the power recipes there. And then last thing I need is reinforced stone, which I've got five of. Fresh my memory on that. That's the addition calculator. It's cobble and wood. So if I only need one of them, I could just do this. Cool. Uh, that's not bad at all. You know what I might want to do then? Check this out. What if I did this and I pushed you into here? Nice, dude. And then I could MV wire connector you. Let's set you to the input. And how's that work? Is that cool? So this guy's producing at 100 RF a tick. So we just significantly uh, improved the production of RF, right? We went from 80 plus, what does this produce? I don't even know. I'm not sure. Probably not a lot. But we just bumped it up a lot. Now, if I really wanted to be cool, I could start throwing my seeds in there and get even better. But for now, that's like a pretty good place to be. What I almost wouldn't mind doing is considering a transfer node there and a chest or something. Because it should be smart enough. At some point, I'm going to put that all in a basement and we'll like rearrange our power gen significantly. But for now, it's cool, right? Um, so let's consider, I totally need wood. I'm like literally out. Farming station to do. I spent a lot of time not cutting down trees and now I'm paying for it. All right, so I could Automate this a bit. I could automate it with a hopper as well, by the way. Which maybe I'll just do that. Because why not? Hopper. Cool. So this is a nice getting started power gen for me, right? Um, and we'll probably, it looks like we might be producing more oil than we're using, which is kind of cool, because that means I could throw another oil generator right here um, and push oil into it, and that would give me 200 RF a tick. Um, now I get oil, or I get more power a lot more quickly if I do the crystallized canola oil. So these guys can totally be used to make better oil, which we saw in my Let's Play series, right? Crystallized and then empowered oil. But that requires a bit of automation, and the best way, in my opinion, to automate that is with a liquid monitor. Or you know what, we want a scanner, right? That's not bad to make. That's pretty vanilla. Um, and a dropper, that's not bad to make. We might be able to automate it. Didn't I have a liquid monitor in that build, though? Did I have a liquid monitor? I did, I think. And that requires a machine frame, which is age six. It needs a carpenter with nutrient distillation and an end rod, which means I have to go to the end. So the next age for me, age six, involves going to the end. That's kind of the end goal here, no pun intended. So that's good. At least we're having power production in a better shape now. You guys actually filled up nicely and you're filling up pretty quickly. That's good. All right, I'm really happy with that actually. Sweet. All right, cool. Um, at some point I'll probably want an on off switch on this thing. 
which I think I can do, right? That stops you from running anymore? Correct. But I want you to run. All right, cool. So, good progress. So I've got 800,000 times four, that's 3.2 million RF, and I've got 400,000 here. I literally have exactly four million RF to my name right now. Um, so if I did that, this should work. It should take a minute, but it should get me my empowered Ristonia crystal. Cool. That's gonna rapidly drop, but that's also okay. Um, because you're running still and you're running still. So we'll be fine. And canola press is clearly keeping up just fine with the fermenting barrels. The two fermenting barrels are slower than the one canola press. So we have a net gain of canola oil here. Yeah, net gain. So totally pretty good on that. I'm gonna go mining between this episode and next because I'm I just cooked up a bunch more copper that I had sitting around, but I don't think I have any tin ore hanging out in here that I can see. I've got silver. I've got a lot of osmium, but no tin. See the copper I cooked. But tin, I'm literally out of. I have zero tin right now. So I'm going to go mine at tin ore. It is most commonly found around Y level 41, 42. See, there's 0% at the lower Y levels. So I want to go mining around 43-ish. Copper ore. Also around 42, 43. So that's good. So if I go around 42, 43, we should be cool. I'm going to allow you to resume again. Let this thing cook for a bit. Um, small stone. What are you used for? Ah, for CF powder. Well, that's cool. Hey, neat. That's neat. Uh, and CF powder is required for binder composite. So the fact that I kicked this off is kind of good. A little bit, didn't even think about it, but that's neat. So you guys are out of RF and you're gonna be really low, but you should be super close to being done. Like super close. By the way, throughout this episode, this chest was totally full. I now have 1,452 canola. That is awesome, my friends. That is awesome. I mean, technically, I could just put the drawer over there, but it's all good. It's all good. Hey, you finished. Nice. That is cool. So I'm very pleased about that. We're going to want more of you, um, which means... For you to exist, we're gonna want some kind of special glass has to go in here, right? Let's get our one capacitor going. And of course I used my iron casing, so my advanced machine block is in use. That's a bummer. And I may not have the resources to make another advanced machine block. Believe it or not, I'm like at that point, I think tin is my biggest problem right now. I don't have enough tin to make another advanced machine block. So here's what I'm gonna do. Wrap up the episode. It's that time. So yeah, let's wrap up. We'll come back next time. I'll make my experience obelisk. I really wanted to make it, uh, yeah, I really wanted to make it now. I wanted to knock out this experience obelisk before the end of the episode. Let me run outside and find some tin. Like, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so we should now be at the point where I can make you compress you here. So that, 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 and that's my advanced guy. And then we're going to need, oh, you know what I'm short of? I know what I'm short of. I used a lot of them. I have plenty. I just didn't macerate it yet. So I need to macerate this if I want to order double my black quartz. So that's one of you. So that should be cool. We've got that, we've got that. And then we just need six of these. So many Ender IO machines that I want to get. I'm going to need more power for real. So advanced machine casing should be a go. And then you should be good to make Right, my quartz. One, two, three, four.
cool. Item casing. Good. So you're good, then you're good, then that should start cooking. Beautiful. Over here should be done. I really wanted to get this right now um, because I've got so much experience stored and it's probably going to be really useful later. Um, and long story short, I don't want to lose it. Nice. I feel really good about that. All right, guys, now it's wrapping up point. Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Um, might want to boost my power gen a little bit. Might want to work on a handful of other things. There's lots. There's lots. There's lots that need to be done. Um, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out what to do each episode because there's so much to do um, to, to really, you know, kick this thing into gear. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So for now, take it easy, guys.